In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can create a space similar to this one in Revit within 10 minutes. This could be done on a multiple ways and I'm going to show you one of them. I will be using an ordinary architectural template uh, which comes with the Swedish content and the units in this file are going to be millimeters and I don't want to waste your time anymore so let's just move to Revit. I'm in Revit right now and the first thing I'm going to do is to create those walls to place windows and create a floor. Let's make the width of this space. 4.8 meters and the length 8 meters we'll just go to 3d and we'll just decrease the height 3 meters and let's create the floor okay the next thing is to place a couple of windows I will load some families from the Autodesk and let's just take this simple one so the height could be let's say 2.4 meters and I will make width of 1.4 height let's make 300 okay so this looks fine I will just move to realistic so we have a better overview and the next thing is just to add materials so I will use the white color the white paint color for the floor and for the wall I will use the same one let's select the wall and I will take here kind of paint I have preloaded I will take this one and we'll do the same for a floor and let me show you now how you can make uh, this blue part in a wall in Revit without creating a new wall if you go to modify and if you take a look over there you will see the command which is called split face and then you just need to pick the face of the wall and to draw a shape in this case we just need one line to split our surfaces so the top part is going to be white actually will remain the same while the bottom one will is going to be a blue one and I will just make this 900 will click fine and let me just create material I will duplicate this one we'll name this as a purple and I can take this color over there and we'll just make it a bit darker something like this and again go to modify and you will see this command over there it's called paint PT is a shortcut so don't click done just pick the material in this case I'm going to pick this purple lining and I'm just going to paint and let's do the same process for other three walls So when we are done with those walls, the next thing I'm going to do is just to create those profiles on the walls. So we have this bottom one, then the middle and the top one. I have already created some of them just for this purpose and they look quite simple and they look like this. For example, this is the top corniche. So you can just go to the family, new, pick this metric profile and create any shape you would like to have. And the way how I'm going to create this is the sweep and I'm going to go to the wall sweep and then I'm going to create let's say the wall 01 for this one I'm going to take this 03a and I will immediately pick material I know that this is going to be the white color so I'm going this first this one at the top you see we got the top profile let's do the same for a middle one let's duplicate this one and just call it as a profile wall 02 and I will use here this 04. As I said, feel free to create any profiles and to test how this is going to work for you. Okay, so this one is done as well. And let's just make the last one. Again, sweep, duplicate, 03. Material is the same everywhere. Okay, so walls are done. Uh, what we have to do next is to create uh, the ceiling or the roof and this could be done on a couple of ways. I'm going to use one very simple and that, that method is very easy to modify later on. I'm going to make this as a roof by extrusion and I'm going to specify the type for that roof. In order to make a roof by extrusion, we need the reference plane and I will place it over there on the interior side of the wall. 
we'll name it as a roof 01 and we'll create the section as well right click to the section go to view and let me move this more to the left okay so let's go to roof roof by extrusion and pick a reference plane we just created and we'll take this 125 as a type let's go from exterior to exterior and let's make this as a 275 meters in radius what I have to do right now is that I don't want to have this plumb cut over there so what I have to do right now is just to make two cut plumb and because this started from interior part of the wall I will make this to end to interior part of the wall so it's going to be minus 8000 because the length of the roof is 8000 or 8 meters, 8000 millimeters and now we need to change the type of the roof in Revit there is a something which is called slope glazing and works uh, on a quite similar way like the curtain walls so if you are familiar with the curtain walls in Revit this is going to be a piece of cake for you if you are not so familiar with the curtain walls I made a couple of tutorials and they are going to help you with understanding them so please just uh, go over them and take a look okay so let's just pick this one and for a type take this slope glazing and immediately go to edit type and just go roof 01 for a panel I will pick the empty one and for a grid one I will make fixed distance of 400 and for the second one we'll make by 800 so it's very easy to divide uh, with our room sizes and for a first mullion I will take this 50 by 150 and I will do the same here and we'll just click fine and let me just isolate this element so as you could see this works very well and maybe for some of you this is going to be quite enough but if you would like to assign a different profiles and for this tutorial I made two of them so one bigger which goes into this longer direction than the smaller one which goes into this radial direction let me show you how they look like so this is the bigger one it's quite simple and this is the smaller one and as I said just feel free to test and make any of them you like and what I would like to do now is to create a new kind of a mullion so in order to do that I'm just going to select this one we'll unpin it we'll go to edit type and we'll duplicate it we'll make this as a profile roof 01 for material I will take this blue paint we made and for a profile I'm going to use this 01 I showed you how it looked like so you see and again I'm going to duplicate and we'll make profile roof 02 we'll do the same thing and just here we'll take this 02 profile the smaller one so I'm just going to select the roof we'll go to edit type and for a first mullion I will take this 01 and for a second I will just take this 02 we'll click OK so let's see what we got if we go under and take a look we see that we have kind of problem when it was rectangular one it was working very well but here it works very well at the base of the profile but you see that we have kind of gaps over there when the profile becomes narrower and let me just show you it's an easy fix so we will just make a workaround I'm going to select this wall and then I'm just going to edit type we'll put nothing for this mullion over there and we'll put none of the divisions for the second grid and we'll just click OK we'll delete grid line so in this case we just have those longer profiles uh, if you go to the section we see that this one is a bit lower than this one and that's because of justification so I will make justification for this grid to be center and then I'm going to select this profile and we'll delete it and we'll do the same for this one and what I would like to do as well is I would like to move this more to the back so let's just select it and let's just make this 50 okay maybe something like this. let's make 100 okay something like this like this seems fine in it back I will just extend the section view and I will just copy this roof for let's say seven meters to the right we'll go to 3d we'll select this roof and we'll make a duplicate and we'll name this as a roof 02 let's pick this second profile 
here, put nothing there and make this fixed distance 800 and delete mullions and this seems fine. Let me just move this back for 7 meters and what I can see here is that I need to move this profile for let's say 100 as well. Okay, so they match fine and then from section you see that those profiles over there, they're, they're going into the wall. I will go to 3D because if I select this from the section, let's say all of them, there are some of them in the back of the section which I cannot select from this view. So I'm going to 3D. I'm going to select those mullions. We'll unpin them and then we'll delete them. And the same at the opposite side. So in section, this seems fine. Let's just go here isolate things okay and the last thing we would like to do here is just to create the new roof and i'm going to go again to the roof roof by extrusion we'll pick reference plane the same for the other roofs we'll take this 125 and i will just make this very thin we'll make it 50 and we'll pick a material and just we'll make the offset of 50 and we'll go from here to here and to here and we'll just click space so it goes out this seems fine let me just make this to go to start with the 200 to go till the end and we'll select this wall and this one and we'll just attach them to this roof the new one created and there is just two small things the first one is just to select this element and we'll again go to SF we'll split, which means split face we'll go 3 meters from the bottom and let's paint this reset and create the same at the opposite side reset this and let me just make a camera view realistic i really hope that you can find this method useful if so please just like the video and if you would like to support us please subscribe to our channel